In this paper, we introduce a new method for synthesizing textures by copying patches of training data. We use a graph cut technique to find the optimal extent of the patch, or patch seam as we call it. The technique works for both image and video textures. To fill the desired output space with texture, we place the whole input texture as a patch over the output. We then compute the optimal seam of the patch using a graph cut technique and transfer the region within the seam to the output. After repeated application of patches, the whole output space is filled. We can now iteratively refine our result by applying more patches. Our optimal seam computation takes existing flaws in the texture into account and patches them over. We now show some results for image textures. For comparison, this is the result of our implementation of Efres and Freeman's image quilting algorithm. We can increase the variability of our results by applying different transformations to the input texture. Here we rotate and mirror the texture before synthesizing the output. Images conveying perspective can be generated by using different scales of the input as training data. We have also used our graph cut technique for interactive image synthesis. Here a user is synthesizing a new image by combining two source images. The user specifies constraints by indicating regions that should be copied over to the destination image. Given these constraints, the graph cut algorithm finds the best seam between the source images. The SIGGRAPH banner was synthesized by interactively combining flowers with leaves. Our technique also works for video textures. To synthesize a new video, we offset the original video in space or time and splice it with itself using a flexible spatiotemporal seam. We now show some results where looped video sequences were generated using purely temporal offsets. We first show the result from the video textures paper, which momentarily blurs during the transition due to crossfading. This is the graph cut result with no noticeable flaws. The waterfall can also be synthesized without visible artifacts. These results were generated from only one second of input. To avoid excessive repetition in the result, we generate the output by placing patches with a random offset in time. All of them work poorly when using simple looping. Here is a comparison with Wayne Levoy's result. This example was generated using offsets in both space and time. We use constraint synthesis to loop such sequences. Applying only temporal offsets does not entirely suppress repetition. Pure looping is even more repetitious. Here's Way and Lavoie's result. This sequence is particularly hard to synthesize. The result of using spatiotemporal offsets is satisfactory, while purely temporal offsets don't work at all. This is Wayne Levoy's result. Our technique also allows us to extend the video spatially. Here the river sequence is spatially extended as well as looped. Here is a video loop that did not work. We only show the transition. The algorithm was not able to find a seam that unnoticeably removes the wave. 